we have the pivot and the frequency table we had created uh, earlier. Now to make a plot with multiple species, I find it easier to copy the data into a new sheet. If you find a better way, let me also know. So now I'm copying the species common name, pasting it in another sheet. We will also copy this entire data including the month and paste it in the same sheet and when you are pasting make sure that you paste values. Now I am going to select all the species which I want in the plot and then copy it into another location. First let me copy the months and paste it here. Uh, I want Ashitronko next I want brown shrike I'm going to copy this and paste it here and a couple of others I have copied all the species which I wanted in the plot here. Now I am going to select this entire table and insert line graph. We also want the access titles data table. we can double click on the access title and then edit it to frequency of reporting and the x-axis months so i have downloaded the data for bangalore rural for 2016 to 2020 I'm going to open that in Excel I will delete all the columns which I don't require you can refer to the previous video for the details of that from this we are going to create the growth in number of checklists and number of observers per year from 2016 to uh, 2020 I have added two columns after observation date and I'm going to convert this into year month and date this will have to be select this go to data and text to columns next remove the tab click other and put the forward uh, slash finish okay and we have to write on that year and select all three columns format numbers and zero decimal places so we have the date month and year now we can insert a pivot table select the year and observer id We are going to count the cells wherever there is data to get the number of observers in each year. Select count A and then select till the end of the table. 147 observers. Now the same thing can be 
copy to all the columns now let us copy this and paste it here and under that we will paste the values control c and paste the values here so this is number of observers similarly for uh, checklist remove observer id and take sampling event identifier delete this we will do the counting once again count a till the end of the column now we can this is the number of checklists and we can copy this and paste the values here now select this insert a chart we will add the access titles and data labels and a trend line for the checklist x axis is years and y axis is okay both are there let us put checklist you can experiment with the type of charts here We will use the same data to create a plot of number of species per month per year from 2016 to 2020. But before we do that, we will have to remove the spurs and splashes from the species list. So we are going to put a filter and select only slash and spurs. select this entire data delete this could take a little while based on the amount of data you have in your file now we are going to check on the domestic species out of the domestic now from common name select what all are there domestic goose and rock pigeon are there we are going to leave the rock pigeon in but we are going to select domestic goose and delete that Now we can remove the filter. Select the data and we will create one more pivot table in a new sheet. In the pivot, we will select common name, month and year. We also need year and month in columns and we will remove the values and we need one value in the one uh, cell in the values column we have spur here that means okay let us go to data refresh the data once okay spurs are gone now we will count count a and select all the rows here till the bottom we can select this and paste it till here 
I have created a table with all the months and the years here. Now we will copy paste the data from the other sheet to this sheet. So till here and then paste it here only the values. Similarly do it for each year. For 2017 we will start from here because this is 2016 total. This is Jan. We select everything. Copy. Paste the values. Do that for everything till 2020. Now we can select this table and insert a chart. We will add the access titles and data table. You can also change the format of the chart if you want. That is the number of species. You can create the same chart from 2016 to 2020 from your district.